and guess who I just found. Doing some maintenance and checking on all my guys, my little babies. And, and my daughter actually happened to notice that one of my um, Hogna Carolinensis, Hogna Carolinensis, get, getting tongue tied, um, actually laid an egg sac. This is my wolf spider. One of my wolf spiders, I have two. There's one up here too. But one of the wolf spiders, my newer one, actually, let me get a good view of her. She laid an egg sac. Proud mama. So I'm going to um, hang on to her until the babies hatch and then I'm going to put everybody back outside in the garden where she came from so they can all disperse and eat bugs and do their job. But I wanted to share the happy moment in the mama and her egg sack. Very cool. It's going to be real cool to watch these guys hatch and all the little babies running around. It's going to be fun. Yeah, cool. It looks like thing one, my Ceratogyrus darlingy sling has molted. There's a molt in there. So we got a molt. And this is my new Psilotheria Metallica, who I named Orion. My little sling hanging out up there, all leggy and cute. And this is my Salmonius Cambridge eye. Somewhere, hiding somewhere, don't know where. I'll check that one later, but I'm going to be doing some feedings. So, see if anybody else has done anything. I don't see elegans in there, which is not showing up. The lighting isn't the greatest. So I'm going to do some feeding of all these little slings here. And these these are wolf spiders up here. I got some other true spiders back here. And these are all my arboreals and vinegar. And then I have my other little old worlds over here. So I'm going to be feeding all these guys. These are my juvies. So I'll probably be feeding mostly the slings, maybe the juvies too, depending on how much time I have. But we'll see. But everybody's going to get water. So the whole deal. Everybody got to check their waters.
honey. And looks like we got a molt. Here, looks like we got a molt. For some reason, I have this nice little setup here with the cork bark and everything in there up top. And nope, wants to hang out at the bottom. I don't know why, but maybe yeah. figure out that there's actually like some stuff on top. And maybe move up there, but for now, I like to hang out down here. So I'll leave it alone for a little bit. Come back. I am right now so very, very excited. I have been checking every day in here in this little box of dirt, hoping my little, my little C. elegans would show up by some miracle. And guess who I just found. Yes, that is my itty bitty, teeny weeny, wee little C. elegans was hiding in the dirt, so I am going to be rehousing into a smaller enclosure because this is like massive compared to this little tarantula. I will show you size wise. There's, yeah, so there's my little baby right there, and it is well alive and well. I thought I would never see it again, but nope. There it is. It is perfectly alive and I am so excited right now. So yay. I just had to share that because I am so excited about this right now. Now all I need to do is find Waldo, who is somewhere in this room. Hopefully he's doing well and will show himself some evening so I can catch him. But other than that, one down, one to go. And I am so excited I got my sea elegans back. I was so devastated. And there it is, alive and well. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> Finally, yes. The sticker is the truth. Actually, it was my daughter who found Waldo. Waldo, who is right here, my Papalopus species, Columbia Large, who is healthy and fat, missing a leg. Lost the leg along the way, but otherwise healthy and fat. Um, he's been on the run for a while in here in the reptile room. The daughter was vacuuming the rug and um, over here there was some shavings and I said, oh, you should get the shavings under there. And uh, started to vacuum and he just ran across right there. But he is now safely housed here. He's not getting out of this one. Out of this container, so. This is your new home, Waldo. So yes, all tarantulas present and counted for. Finally, 